Welcome to Accounting in Focus. Hello, in this video we're going to discuss margin of safety. Um, this is one of those concepts that students have a lot of trouble with because I think it is explained very poorly in textbooks. I think textbooks try to overcomplicate this topic. Um, it's actually one of the easiest concepts in managerial accounting because all margin of safety is, is it's your cushion. Okay, so if you think of it as a cushion between break-even point and your current sales. So it's kind of how far are you away from break-even point. Okay, how much is that cushion before you reach zero profit. So I ran some numbers here. This is a contribution margin income statement margin of safety is related to break-even point so I calculated the break-even point which is 20,000 units or four hundred thousand dollars this income statement is based off of twenty five thousand dollars in sales and five hundred thousand in revenue okay so margin of safety can be expressed either in units or in dollars Okay, so let's do units first. <clears throat> Remember I said this is the cushion between where you are and break even point. So if I take my current sales of 25,000 units minus my break even point of 20,000, that means I am currently 5,000 units above break even. This is my margin of safety. Okay. That's really that's all it is. I promise, that's all it is. It's the difference between where your current sales and units are and your break even point. So now let's look at this in dollars. So in dollars, my current sales are five hundred thousand minus my break even point in sales dollars, which are four hundred thousand. So what is my margin of safety? One hundred thousand dollars. See, I told you, it's not that bad. All right, so now let's look at, since we have all these numbers in front of us, um, let's look at what would our margin of safety be if current sales were 23,000 units. Okay, so 23,000 units what is the margin of safety? Okay, well you can probably do the unit calculations really easy. If I'm currently selling 23,000 units minus 20,000 units, my margin of safety in units is 3,000. Okay, now what would that be in dollars? Okay, well if we can calculate what our current sales dollars are. Now there's a couple different ways you could do this. If you know the price, you could take the price times the number of units. Okay, so we could do that. We could say 3,000 units times $20 per unit would be $60,000. Okay, so that's one way you can do it. Um, let me make that look more like a six. There we go. Okay, so that's one way you could do it. So that would be MOS in dollars. The other way you could do it is you could say, okay, well, 23,000 units times $20 per unit is $460,000. This would be my sales minus my break even of 400,000 gets me sixty thousand dollars MOS in dollars okay now how does I actually I got this question um, on one of my other videos how does margin of safety relate to profit okay well remember this is where contribution margin right the power of contribution margin and if you've watched my videos dealing with contribution margin I talk about how powerful this concept is Remember that contribution margin 
is the amount that contributes to fixed cost and profit. So if you look at my contribution margin here, it's 300,000. 240,000 of that is going to fixed cost. And then 60,000 is profit. Okay, so contribution margin is the amount that contributes to fixed cost and profit. Once your fixed costs are covered, your contribution margin is all profit. So remember with margin of safety, this is the amount we are above break even point. So that means that all of my fixed costs are already covered. So how do I convert this to profit? Well for that we're going to use the contribution margin ratio. So I know that for every dollar I have in sales, 60% is contribution margin. So if I take my $60,000 MOS, margin of safety, times 60%, my contribution margin is $36,000. Since I am above my break-even point, this entire $36,000 becomes profit. So this is your contribution margin, this is also your operating income. Okay, and you could actually go through, let's prove this, maybe go over this way a little bit. Okay, yeah, let's go over this way a little bit. So let's do the income statement to prove that my operating income would be $36,000. So sales at 23,000 units, I'm going to take $20 per unit times 23,000 units, that's 460,000, minus my variable costs, $8 per unit times 23,000 units is 184,000. That gives me a contribution margin of $276,000. My fixed costs are not changing, they're still 240. Fixed cost, 240,000. And so my operating income is 36,000. See how cool is that? That's why I think the probably the most important thing in all of managerial accounting is your contribution margin and your contribution margin ratio those two items will get you really far in this course. If you have any questions on this topic, please feel free to leave me a comment. Um, if you like the video, please feel free to like it and share it. Um, and you can also follow this channel and you can follow me on Facebook. The link is up at the top of the page in the banner. Thanks. See you soon.